And welcome to your Go Market update for today, Thursday, the 13th of October. Mike Smith here, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, on what is a big day on the data front. Let's just look at what's come across the news now. And of course, US equities closed just below neutral on a late sell off before that inflation number that's due out tonight. Uh, there were no surprises from the FOMC minutes. And it was a choppy but fairly tight range session compared to what we've seen of late. U.S. earnings season kickoff is also on market minds, of course. Uh, U.S. futures are positive in Asian trading and Asian indices also trade cautiously. Trading near neutral at the moment across the board with the exception of the ASX, which has had a nice little pop up after the inflation expectations number came in softer than expected. So ASX is trading around 0.5% of the upside with financials outperforming. Uh, European equity futures are pointed to a mildly lower open at this stage, but of course that may change before actual open this afternoon. US dollar index has paused on mild bond yield weakness. Gold has edged back up to that key 1675 level that we referenced before. And we are seeing a slight drop in oil again after that recent test of 100 that we referenced earlier in the week. Copper is trading near neutral around 340 and the VIX is still above 30 and remains at its highest level since June. Bitcoin has held over that 18600 support. A little bit of buying towards the back end of yesterday, but nothing significant. Uh, Australian inflation expectations were, as we've already reported, softer than expected. And we have German inflation data this afternoon, of course, that big US CPI number and US weekly jobs also out later. Let's just see a couple of charts that have caught our eye today. We still have the GB pound Australian dollar on our radar since it breached the 200 moving average yesterday. Failed to move higher today, interestingly, uh, despite that softer inflation number. And we are keeping an eye on 177.60 for a potential long term trade. In the short term, we could see a move up to that level, which would be around about 90 pips. But just look at an hourly chart. This is the level that would grab our attention if it breaches 177 we see those 60 pips being there for the taking potentially we reference the strength of banks today on the asx you can see the cba is blasted through that 200 ma as well we would suggest that perhaps this level where we're at now which was support throughout much of august is a key level at 99.69 we think a breach of 100 dollars would precipitate more buying just a key psychological level for markets could see us up in the medium term around 105 perhaps i want to keep an eye on, but that whole sector is worth looking at at this stage trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now